Hello, Michael. I hope I'm not disturbing you. No, no, not at all. Uh, come on in. I'll, uh, I'll show you uh, what I was talking to you about yesterday. The, uh, how an idea starts and what happens to it. Sometimes it continues on to a finished painting, sometimes not. Uh, but this is a fairly good example of, uh, of how things uh, happen with this particular painting. Uh, this was a drawing that I did for Maria. Um, our uh, first grandchild was born about five months ago. And uh, as a little bit of a celebration, I did this uh, as a gift to her. And um, it was called a gift only because that's what it was. It wasn't a title. And uh, after looking at it for a while, I thought about expanding the idea to something uh, a bit more, let's say, philosophical from the point of view that I, uh, I believe that uh, the world is in a rather terrible state at the moment and uh, in this transitional period that there are children that are being born to, uh, um, to help keep the planet going. And so I thought, okay, can I expand this idea and try to create a, a, a more universal feeling to, um, to the painting. So you can see more or less, this is where I started and this is where I am now. I'm trying to, to continue um, developing the idea without losing anything and making it uh, a more complete image. same way, this is uh, what happened here. This was just a small portrait in the beginning. And when I decided to add the lion, it became something else. And I, I, I looked at it and I thought, here's an idea that I think has more potential than just a small portrait. And I would like to explore that. So I took this image and behind you there, I made uh, a drawing to see if I could expand it to, to, to create a larger vision and then ultimately this drawing would be translated into a painting. I would probably double, triple the size of it and, uh, and make a full painting. So here's, here's an idea that may or may not happen in the future, but uh, you can see the process of uh, how, how things go from, from a beginning thought uh, through to uh, maybe six months or a year before I finally get to what I consider to be the finished resolution of that thought. Okay. So, if you'll excuse me, I'll just make it work. these paintings are finished. They are all in process. So it's a bit unfair to the paintings. They're not varnished, they're not finished, they're not framed. So what you're really looking at is the general idea. And what normally happens with a painting, uh, as any artist will tell you, the idea is finished long before the painting is. Mm -hmm. You can get the idea on the canvas and you go, okay, I like the idea. Now, how do I make it a good painting? So that can take, an idea can, can take a week to get it down, but it can take a month to two months to actually make a beautiful painting from the idea. So, and what I'm explaining is, these are the things that get me started. And um, just like this got me started, and it ends up here, and it may end be nothing more than a sketch, or it may end up being a large painting. This little sketch here, um, she is touching uh, what will probably be a Siberian tiger. But I've looked at this now for a week or so, and uh, one morning I thought, but wouldn't it be incredible if that was a polar bear instead, and it was snowing, and she's there completely nude, and it's, and it's this white, 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 and so mm -hmm. this may never happen. I well, may go on and do the polar bear. Right. So this is, this is sort of what uh, the process as it works. That's why living with all these pieces is, is better 
than doing just one at a time. Right. piece that we all recognize, they all have one thing in common, and that is that sense, that essence of, yeah. of harmony that almost brings you to a stop. And how much of that develops as you go on with the painting, develops in front of you? It's, um, it's a kind of a, um, a game that you play with the painting. There is no painting unless the painting starts talking to you. It gives, yeah. it gives you back information. And when you don't know where to go, you sit and, and, and step back and listen a little bit. And I'm listening for the silence. And now other artists are listening for other things. I mean, painters that are painting very aggressive, angry paintings, they're obviously not looking for that. Yes. But that is the thing that I'm looking for. And all the masters that I respond to the most have that in, embedded in the work itself. It's, it's like a an underpainting. Oh. 